What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I want to go over two things in this video, really three things in this video, but first and foremost, my price prediction for earnings because I think there is going to be a major rally and I want to go over what I'm kind of thinking is going to happen, give you guys the best case and the worst case scenario. As we do know, there is a lot of great things that are going to be announced on earnings coming November 8th. That is next Monday. So this is not to say this is going to happen. This this is to say, hey, this is what I think is going to happen. This is why I've been buying so many shares of AMC, setting up for this rally and potential future rallies. If AMC doesn't hit my personal price target, which I will not be sharing, I won't sell AMC. My price target is probably a lot higher than you guys. And obviously that's probably because I don't want to claim the taxes. If you're going to make a massive gain and AMC is going to pivot its business model and become a, an entirely different company, I won't accept a couple hundred dollars. That's just not in my realm. If AMC, I have faith in the management. So you guys do whatever you guys want to do. My situation, a lot different than your guys' situation and vice versa. As well as that, I want to go over the silent period of AMC what is going on right now, why we're not getting a lot of news, and how this is perfectly normal, as well as that I want to go over and, you know, touch bases on something I've seen quite a few videos about, and that is the danger of covered calls at the current moment. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been doing this strategy. We're going to go over what this is, and this is a great strategy, but not at the current moment when we are setting up for a very volatile move to the upside. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into this video. Hit that like button for me. Consider subscribing to the channel and let me know what is your price prediction for earnings this is not to say your price prediction or mine will actually happen so like i said i'm not a financial advisor not a financial planner so don't listen to anything that is directly said i'm not setting this in fact it's not set in stone going to happen hopefully that makes some sense to you guys but if you guys do and have not checked out Moomoo, definitely check that out. 24-7 free financial news. And the faster you can get news, like I've said many times, that is where the money is made. As well as that free pre-market and full post-market trading. And you can join an investment community. You can write posts, source ideas, get ideas from other like-minded investors. Use the link in the description, deposit $100, get up to $350 in free stock. As well as if you guys want access to all of my trades that link is down there as well we have been killing it so let's just talk about this silent period situation and cover calls and then let's get into my price prediction on earnings and why i am saying this because this is not just pulling this out of my ass per se this is actually you know set in stone what could happen or what is likely to happen in my opinion now, what is a silent period for stocks? A quiet period is a set amount of time in which a company's management and marketing teams cannot share opinions or additional information about the firm. With publicly traded companies, the quiet period is a reference to four weeks before the end of the business quarter. And obviously, we're coming, we're at the end of the business quarter. We've already ended the business quarter. So this, this silent period, this quiet period, whatever you want to call it, is basically a couple weeks heading into earnings we have got some announcements so it's not to say you won't get any news heading into you know the actual earnings call and conference call but you don't get as much news so there's obviously some great things that have probably happened with the business over the last couple of weeks but management is probably waiting to let all that out on the actual earnings call because these the basically the board of directors at AMC, Adam Aaron, all of these people, they have substantial amounts of probably their whole entire net worth, but a substantial amount of shares in AMC as well. So they do have an interest to make the stock price go up. Obviously, we've seen some uh, insiders actually sell, which is not a great thing. It's not a bad thing, probably to fund their, their lifestyle, their way of living, pay their bills like you or me would do. But either way, it's a quiet period, and that's why we're not getting news. That's why we don't have a catalyst to really send us higher before earnings. This ultimately j just builds momentum at the same time time but all in all it's a great sign that we are staying above $40 per share currently at $40.26 and we're sub still substantially up from where we just were at back here at about $34 per share so do not forget since October 29th we are up about six dollars in 
uh, share share value per share up about six dollars since October 29th and we're only on November 4th so we've already seen a pretty substantial rally and this was not short covering in massive numbers we've seen most of these moves happening in after hours and pre market where there is very low trading so even a hundred thousand shorts two hundred thousand three hundred thousand 300,000 shorts that theoretically covered in after hours and pre-market that's going to move the stock up a lot more than just intraday shorts covering because of that lack of volume now something else that i want to go over is going to be obviously covered calls and covered calls are a great thing to do for passive income that is what i like to do but not in times of severe volatility and especially you guys do already know what happens to amc coming on earnings so i think there's a huge risk for a lot of people ultimately it's it might hurt your position more by doing this and it might also give you guys more FOMO by doing this. I have some cover calls that are going against me in Lucid Motors right now. And you just got to hope and pray that the stock doesn't close above that strike price or you'll be forced to sell uh, your shares more than likely. But essentially what a covered call actually is. So if you're just taking a look at the option chain, right? You can agree to sell your stock at, let's say, $55 by this Friday. And I'm not going to use that for reference. Let's do the November 19th because this is really the option chain that is exploding for open interest. Now, let's say you say, okay, $50. I would be happy selling my shares at $50 per share by November 19th. You could sell this contract, collect $212, but if AMC is above $50, if AMC went to $60 per share, your, your gains are capped at $50 because you have to sell your stock at $50 per share. And a lot of people have been doing this with AMC and other stocks. I do like doing this when a stock obviously runs up, the premium is way, way high, and then you can get a good deal on selling a cover call. But before earnings, especially right now it doesn't seem worth it to me and i have never sold a cover call on amc to begin with because you just don't know it's so volatile the price can move around so much but that is really the danger here if amc went to a hundred dollars and you had to sell your shares at 50 you'd be pretty upset you'd probably be feeling fomo and wanting to buy more shares when in all reality you had shares you just agreed to sell them for fifty dollars factoring in the premium uh fifty two dollars twelve cents per share now not the best time to do this if you guys did want to do this it's probably when we top out after earnings which is typically two to four weeks after the actual earnings call as we can see from the earnings and this is not new information to you guys especially if you're subscribed to this channel but we have seen a 60%, a 1000% and a 100% gain after earnings. And this is what really brings me into my price prediction with AMC stock. So when we're talking about this, we do have to acknowledge the past and the history of what has happened. Like I said, 60%, 1000% and 100%. I would go as far as to say to see a 50 to 100% gain two to four weeks after earnings, not all in one day, which could happen but two to four weeks after earnings to see these kind of returns would be pretty normal for amc stock after earnings throughout the whole year of 2021 so when we're talking about my price prediction me personally if we can break out past this prior really resistance level at about 53 dollars per share i think we're set to go to about 60 five dollars per share and i'm gonna go ahead and mark these right here let's do 53 right here where we topped out and then let's do another one at about 65 dollars where you see a lot of these higher end wicks and we did close the day 72 dollars 62 cents back here june 2nd obviously that was the major rally this is the earnings we went up 1000 percent now the thing to consider here is if Shorts would be forced to cover now because if you're a short seller, you've been in this stock since 10, 15, 20, or even $30 per share, you've never had a 
positive well maybe briefly maybe maybe briefly right here at $28.91 you are positive on your short position but when you factor in the interest that has been paid on all of these positions throughout this entire year which is millions and millions or possibly billions of dollars in just interest in total you're more inclined to get out of your positions or have at least less liquidity to continuously put into your positions and when we do factor in take to comparison lucid motors we just seen a major rally with lucid going from about twenty dollars all the way up to forty dollars that was about a 100 percent gain a lot of you guys traded that that's one of my largest positions in total that's where my cover calls are under water at nobody obviously seen that coming but bear with me uh, lucid short interest was only 10 percent at the highest point way less shares even that are uh you know, currently sold short with AMC stock. If we take a look at the short interest, I'm going to do away with the estimates here because I think it's a lot higher than that. But the exchange reported short interest was 18.03%. That was back here on October 26. But we do know short sellers have been using the option chain, in my opinion, probably this January 21st, 2022 expiration date that has all of this open interest to hide their short interest so if they've been doing this buying these calls and selling these calls to make it look like they have actually covered that means there is still a obligation to return legal shares back to their owner if you're a hedge fund that has been doing this with the option chain manipulating this to make it look like you have covered still that obligation to cover legal shares is still there so the short interest probably much higher than 18 percent but even if it is 18 percent that's much higher than lucid motors dwac didn't even have a short interest what those stocks had and what amc has not had is fomo buying when you mix in the fomo buying as well as obviously like i said the actual news that is going to come out with amc that could totally change the valuation the interest that has been paid on all of these short positions and the publicity of amc compared to these other stocks i think it's safe to say we could see a major rally coming after earnings and like i said i'm not a financial advisor this is not to say this is going to happen this is more or less just pointing out the obvious of what is here if nobody has pointed this out to you then that's what i'm here for to point this out to you guys now it my actual price prediction for this i think honestly we could hit all-time highs with amc stock especially like like i said if we get something that changes the valuation if investors think about this if investors all of a sudden thought amc was going to be the next microsoft or the next big company because of what they're doing their entirely different business line then why would you stay in your short position you would want to cover that as fast as possible and i'm not talking about the moas i'm not saying that a substantial amount of shorts are going to cover but we've seen just what happened over the past couple of days when a couple hundred thousand shorts cover their short position we ran up six dollars and a little bit of fomo buying i think it's safe to say that we could see even more shorts covering if we do get some bombshell announcements and we are setting up on this trajectory if we do do a doo doo <laughs> oh my god if we do a just simple trend line here i'm gonna delete this because it's kind of muddying up the actual graph but or chart you can see the trajectory here is still very very bullish people are talking about the patterns all that we're not going to get into that that is pretty well known but bullish trajectory still fully intact the core group of apes still fully intact the volume is incredibly low as well and that's something to know if we were going to fall we would have fallen when the volume was this low if we see that volume come back in which i do expect along the lines of foam buying and shorts covering that's where you see those massive price movements and the fact that we are holding up at 40 dollars with even low volume relative to anything we have seen in the past huge signs of a rally in my personal opinion so i'm probably going to get off this video and go buy some shares myself try to load up even more before earnings because obviously today is thursday tomorrow is friday and me personally if i want to trade amc or just buy more shares i want to do it by the end of this week but as far as a set in stone price prediction like i said all-time highs bare minimum in my personal opinion around 50 you know around 53 to 60 dollars per share i think there's going to be enough good news even if it's not as crazy as people think to at least 
send us much higher. But I personally think all-time highs are coming after earnings. So that's the current situation. Not to get you guys too excited, but really just point out the obvious here because a lot of people are not talking about any of this that we covered in this video. And I think it's important to at least have you guys knowledgeable about and that's why you come to these videos to get that opinion and that reference that you might not get from other people so that's gonna be all for this video hit that like button for me consider subscribing to the channel let me know your price prediction for earnings ultimately helps me refine my predictions as well if you don't agree with what i'm saying then let me know why you don't agree provide some facts some due diligence to suggest your claims because that's exactly what i have done in this video as well as that check out the sponsor of this video moomoo and other links for free stocks as well you guys cannot go wrong by doing that and the buy and sell alerts if you guys want to be a part of that very inexpensive so that's going to be all you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in the next video